Well, how do that, chums, says I, Captain of Steve's. And today, chums, for you guys and the viewer, uh, something a little bit different. So I just want to show you the YouTube music library, because if you are a content creator and you're after music for your videos, this is probably one of the overlooked ways of getting music. YouTube actually supplies music you can use in your videos. Let's jump on over and I'll show you what I mean. So when you're inside of the YouTube Studio app, um, on laptop and PC, you can click this bottom link at the bottom here and go straight into this YouTube music library. Now down the side of the screen here, you've got these little YouTube logos, which is, it means that the license is fine. Let me just take myself off the screen just for a moment. Boom. So these icons down here, you see here, YouTube audio library. You can use this track in any of your videos, including videos that you monetize. No attribution is required. Now there are some others where you will see um, if I can't sort it by license type. But anyway, there are ones that say CC, which is like copyright, and you've got to put a little bit of blurb in there, but it gives you the blurb that you've got to use. But I kind of avoid using those ones just in case. You never know. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just take out that view count because I'm not live. There we are, boom. Anyhow, so I'm looking for some music for Ivy today. Now, Ivy wants to have something that's sort of almost Harry Potter-esque, sort of like mystical or magical. So inside of these, this filter over here, I'm just going to type in mystical, mist, mystical. Sorry, I'm not the best speller in the world, people. There you go, mystical. And let's uh, let's do a little. No, oh, okay, desert planet. Let's have a quick listen to that, shall we? Wow. Well, that's quite cool. It's a bit more Arabian Nights, though, isn't it? I'll turn the music down a little bit on the old um, Winamp. Well, my PC. So that one's all right, but it's a, it's a little bit Arabian Nights. Let's, let's try this one. Dangerous Toys. Hmm. That one sounds a little bit Arabian Nighty as well, doesn't it? Okay, let's try Journey to the Past. Eh, no, I don't think that's quite Harry Pottery, is it? Try this one. That one's quite nice. So I'm going to hit download to that one. Now go to my downloads folder. Let's try this one, the loner. Now sometimes if you find Oh, let me pause that. If you find music you like, you can actually sort it by the actual author and just look for more from that author if you like their musical style. No, it's not quite magical musical wizardry, is it? You can fast forward it as well. No, bit spacey. A mystical experience. Let's uh, move it in. That's not bad. I'll, I'll give that one a download. I think she might like that. More hip hop. No. No. Okay. Now, you can just carry on going for what ages? Look, I'm, I'm going to go by names now. Oh, I like that one. It's not It's not really what Ivy's after. Ghost Dance. So I'm looking at that one. No. All right. Well, what, I mean, look, there's some with the copyright on. That's what I mean there. Let me just get rid of myself on screen again so you can see that. One second. Boom. These are the ones with copyright on where you've got to actually give some sort of Creative Commons attribute. And it gives you the details. You can hit View Details and it tells you what to copy and paste into your video. So just be careful of those. I, I, I avoid those ones, people in the view of us. There you go. It's it's pretty cool, this music library. Anyway, let's uh, let's get rid of that music. And I'm going to put in Wizard. <laughs> let's see what comes back. 
Oh, we've only got two. All right, well, let's have a look. This might be more in keeping what Ivy might be after, though. Right, so let's hit this one. I'm going to fast forward. Hmm. No, it's more country western, that one, isn't it? Oh, that's exactly what she's after. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's that. I think that's I think that's hit the nail on the head. We'll download that one anyway because the word magical, maybe magical, is what I need to go for rather than mystical. Let's go for magical, magical forest. Let's see if we can get some more like that one. That'd be cool. Password. That's a bit more Halloween, isn't it? That one. What she's after is, you know, Fantasia, Disney's Fantasia, something a bit more like that. Hmm. Maybe. I'll give it a download. What's this one then? Don't think so. Fast forward. Bit slow, it's a bit drab. That could work in certain situations. I get that one. What's for you? No. Mm. National Express. Ooh. I almost sound like Harry Potter and don da don do 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 I go for that, a bit glockenspiely, isn't it? A bit too slow that one. Christmas homecoming. It's gonna be too Christmassy, isn't it? Magical gravity, let's try that one. It's spacey. I figured it might be from the name. You can get a gist of what it might be from the name, can't you? Nemesis? It's a bit dark. Again, more Halloween-y, isn't it? Or is it? I don't know. I'll give it a go. It's hard to know, isn't it? Hard to know. Okay, so we've got those. Let's try putting in Fantasia. Fantasia. Let's see that. Oh! There's something here. Oh, it's one of these copyright ones. No, mate. You, just because I... No. All right, okay. Well, we've got quite a lot going on there. So I think I've got a few for Ivy there. I think I've got some pretty good ones there. But I just wanted to share this with you people that, you know, all this music is for free and it's it's sanctioned by YouTube. Now, what you can't do, though, is go and upload your video straight onto TikTok with YouTube music stapled into it. Okay, <laughs> but there you go. It's pretty darn freaking cool if you're a YouTube content creator and you're after free music. Use the YouTube audio library, and like I say, you can find it from your studio. It's just a bottom option over here, which is pretty darn freaking lovely, isn't it? I guess. Anyway, I'm going to go off, and I'm going to be looking at some of my comments now, and, you know, hitting them up and having a quick read of them, like I do pretty much... I do that about three times a day, roughly. But yes, I've also got to change out some of my members. I've got some new members to my channel. Gumbo Willy, Salute to Mondo, and Sky Masters, Salute to Mondo. Got to update my end cards. There's probably a few others out there, people. But thank you very much for supporting my YouTube channel through membership. It's very kind of you people inside the viewerverse. I guess it is. Anyways, um, yeah, I think I'm going to be ending off now, people. I don't think I've got much else to say to you guys. Oh, I have, actually. The expedition is due to come to an end very soon, people in the view of us. And when that does happen, I'm wondering what's happening next. Because we know there's a three-part arc for No Man's Sky coming out. And I'm wondering when part three is going to drop, because we're already two parts down. And then what happens at the end of the four-part arc? In fact, over on my YouTube channel, let's just jump on over to the old tube of view quickly, people inside the view of us, before I go anywhere. And I'll show you that I have got 
So jump into there, your channel. And if I go over to community tab, lovely jubbly, and scroll on down. Yep, early access. This video is coming out for my uh, members fairly soon. Apart from I didn't put it to members only by the looks of things, did I? Holy fudge. Okay, well, that's that's not good. Let's just, just cut that out of there. That should be for members only, that post. <laughs> Delete! And uh, I'm going to repost that one. So if I go back into my communities tab, slap that into there. I would have left it as public. I want to put that to end of access. Yes. Access to unlisted videos. There you go. Boom. There you go. That's for my members. Lovely jubbly. Now it says members only, like it should. That was my fluff up. The joys of being a content creator. Okay, let's scroll on down. So we've got some polls. What do you think will happen at the end of the four-part arc in No Man's Sky? Or add a comment if you don't see one yet you like. And right now, Hello Games announces their new IP or game is ringing out with 34%. I'm kind of hoping it's a little bit of all of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, there's 16 people that sounded off. There's 17 likes on there. Thank you very much, people. And we've got another poll then. When do you think the next Expedition Part 3 of the four-part arc would be out for No Man's Sky? When do you think it would drop? And right now, winning that poll is mid to late August prior to Starfield. 38% of people say that. There are some people that are saying 30% of people are saying the last week of July or the first week of August. Hmm. I think it's probably going to be around then. I think it's going to be around then. We just got a mightily big update on console on PlayStation 5. It was about 6 or 8 gig or something crazy like that. 6 gig, I think it was. But I'm wondering whether Hello Games have already hidden a lot of the stuff for the next expedition inside of that patch, because it's quite big for what it actually delivers in to game. So I'm wondering whether they're trying to avoid that whole staggered situation that they had before, where, you know, some people were running the expedition a good, like, week before other people were. So I think they want to try and stop that from happening, would be my thoughts. So that's that's pretty much where we are with that. I've put out a story about Starfield. The, uh, the main story may take only 30 to 40 hours to complete, but that's not including all the side quests, is it? No, it's not. Heck, no, it's not. And... Uh, from Todd Howard's interview. Apparently there's a lot of side quests, a lot of Easter eggs, and then there's probably going to be DLC packages and all sorts of other things in the wings. I've heard that they're supporting this for another five years, and then there's all the mods that might come to PC if you're on PC. But you know, even though like Skyrim mods and things have been available on console in the past, still doing some testing on my uh, PC to try and get the best I can out of... Um, Oh, Sky, uh, no Man's Sky on my PC. I think I'm getting there. I just need to turn off the motion blurring now. I've had a few comments, a few other suggestions to tweak my graphic settings a little more. So I might do one more video to see if I can get that a little bit closer to perfect. The funny thing is, when I was running it with freaking mods on, when I had that bon Bonza Bonanza mod pack on it, it was actually running smoother than No Man's Sky standard, which I just can't get my head around. Go watch my modded gameplay of No Man's Sky and see what you think. Look, I put a link up there to my modded No Man's Sky playlist and that's with some super mods on and I'm seeing the same sort of frame skips as I'm seeing without the mods on which is highly irregular and unusual. Maybe I've had some Windows updates that have severely scuppered the hardware of my machine, I don't know, but I have taken everything out of startup menu. Look, I've only got those two, I've only got little things running in the background. That's my printer and that's my USB. I've took everything out of startup and in my task manager I hardly have anything that's actually running in the background, apart from the stuff that came on the actual laptop. I mean, I don't know what half this freaking stuff is, but apparently it's for my laptop. So when I have looked up some of these things, it's to do with either the graphics card or the eye detection module that's built into this device. So it, it dims the screen when you're not looking at it, and then it brightens it and stuff when you when you are looking at it, and things like that, eye tracking, the Toby IX. You know, there's things, I've looked into these, and I'm having a look to see if I can close down some of these things inside of here. I mean, there is quite a lot there, admittedly. But when I look into it, it's all stuff that comes from Alienware or Dell devices as standard, pretty much. And a lot of them, when you look at how much they're actually putting strain on the CPU or the memory, it's not all that. The things that are memory hungry right now, you can see Streamlabs is at the top of this freaking list and stays there predominantly. So maybe I need to look at my scenes inside of Streamlabs. Maybe I've put in some complexities that I don't really need to have or something. Don't know. Need to do a bit more investment. Investigation. Anyway, people, so that's that's a bit of a channel update. That's a little bit of um, some free advice when it comes to me 
music if you're a content creator and that's pretty much everything that i've got for you at the moment i need to update my end screens hopefully you're going to see some of the new members pop up on my end screen anyway because it should feed through from Streamlabs. but yeah i'm going to end off now and uh yeah got a lot to do admin wise take care goodbye goodbye and goodbye again enjoy your weekend <laughs>